Can you put my side back up, please? Any old iron? Wait, how'd you do this? <laughs> how'd you do that, Josh? On top of my iron throne. Yeah. On in. Tez! Tez! You ain't finished, have you? Ah, uh, funny you are. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Ah, good morning. I didn't see you there. Welcome to episode eight of the Scrap King Diaries. And you might be wondering why I'm sat here in my dressing gown. But just shortly, the super tat has come in to pick the Scrap King up and take him on the road. Right, there's my uh, next article in the Copper Times completed. Right then, babe, I'm going out tatting. I'll see you later. Ta-ra. Oh, nice. Morning, Tez. Morning. Morning. Attack. Say vicious scrap dog. Are you ready to show me how to do it? Yeah, I've got some, I've got some fresh gloves. <laughs> I can't wait. My uniform for the day. Black shorts. Capable of stretching for throwing washing machines straight on top of the van. Right then, Tez. You ready to go make some money? Let's, let's, let's have it. We'll try, <laughs> won't we? I'm very excited. Oh, the passion wagon. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to Terry's second life. <laughs> What's his first? <laughs> Unbelievable. Tell you what, I wouldn't come tight if I didn't have that on. My, my most customers with this on is the older part. Yeah, they love that. the on. It's like that like, rag and bone, isn't it? Yeah. What's the limit between something we can take and something we can't? If anything that's by the side of the street, by the side of the grass here on the verge of the road, just take it because that's obviously for us. But if there's like rubbish by the bin, say there's a, a battery or something by that bin, I will knock the door and ask. Yeah. Just to do a check it is. And skips, like skips are my pride and joy. I love skips. Oh, oh, oh. Aladdin's cave. <laughs> no. So that was the first pickup of the day done. And uh, we're yet to find the elusive washing machines, which I'm so craving for. Nice, look at that, for the shearing. Well, is it cast? Nah. Go on, son. I can get into this. Gloves off. Ah. <laughs> Bit told off, man, on the first day. Mark, is that though? <laughs> losing I've got gloves on. Oh, oh God. The foot pump for the bit of... Nice! H. <laughs> Honestly, bro, they're metals are contagious. <laughs> Look at that. Health and safety first. Metal second. She's given us permission. That's true. Yeah. Oh. Nice, <laughs> again. She's closed on that. Look. Hey, what? Seven quid? Eight quid? It's got to be a tent, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There you are, making up for the minus 50p deduction now. Gloves off. Yes, sir. Ali. No, oh, there's a quid. Oh, <laughs> now I'll have gloves on again. You'll get used to putting your gloves on. Hey, mate. Um, I've got a, a metal hob. Hob? Yeah, like a gas hob, yeah. Is it metal? Yeah. We'll have it. Yeah, no worries. Give me one second, I'll get it for you. Cheers, buddy. Look at that. Thank you very much. No worries. I've got a lawnmower as well, it's mostly yeah, plastic, sweet. you want yeah. it? Yeah, I'll, do you want me to come and help you? Uh, 10 kilo plastic tomorrow, Tess. So what? <laughs> He's what? 10 kilo deduction for plastic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Towards uh, the plough? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. On the end yeah, of the plough. Yeah. So on, the... on, Tess, hurry up. <laughs> you done that before? The biceps working. <laughs> He's only put on a few kilo, so 30 kilo max, and he needs a drink. He's dehydrated already. I'll soon have him grafting. Fuel. Proper tap man now with the monster, aren't I? <laughs> Is that your 30 kilo you chucked on worth? What? Is that your 30 kilo you chucked on's worth? That's what I brought to the table today, yeah. Put a tassel in there. Yeah. Oh, it's a good tattoo by the lot. 
Oh, not well, another hoover. Gloves this time. Oh, my f***ing pecker, man. Oh, I've just pulled the bar out straight. Yeah, you just said. These paints have to be taken away. Is this your hobby? Is this your hobby, like telling people off for doing, doing, doing a job? Can we put the side back up, please? Yeah, I'm doing. Fucking hell, man. It's a rock bollocking off an old bloke. <laughs> took food off my daughter's plate, said she could feel. They're literally nicking stuff that's in the skip, technically. <laughs> We're nicking it. Well, no, but you know what I mean? Like, it's not. Fucking I'm, I guarantee they're, you. They're literally throwing it away. Every 20 houses, we yeah, ask barbecue. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I think those loves you. What, are you keeping these up? No, no. Oh! Do you want me to do that? Do you know what I mean? Do you want to watch yourself throw the scrap on the van? It's Tyrone Metals on YouTube. All right. Are you all right to be on YouTube? <laughs> so from one customer, that's nearly just found the police on us for taking some skip out of a skip. To another customer, that's much appreciated that we've just emptied the skip so they can put more rubbish in it. If you still want it, you can have it. Oh god. Can you get can I just get this on the camera please? <laughs> have you got it? Thank you. Okay. We've had some run ins round it. No, you to be honest, if you live here, you'll hear that on I live in Litchfield. Yeah. So I do this, I do this religiously no, every single here, day. Yeah, we've had a few people around here. Oh, what's your head? You man! Where are you going? We're going to yours now. We better get some scrap ready. We've been shouted at. We've been shouted at. I've been, I've been told off for going through a skip. <laughs> <laughs> told off? You nearly run the police? You know around the police, yeah. So apparently, Taylor had a message on Facebook explaining that there was two, well, a washing machine and a tumble dryer that's been left at the house that you can't actually see from the road. So that's what we're going to try and get now. The, uh, the holy grail of scrap. Oh, look at it. Yeah, oh, you have not? to let me throw it on. Why can't you just pick that up like with these? I'll do. It's safe. It's 100% safe, bro, I promise you. That ain't coming off, honestly. So what Tez has picked up, you see, to everyone else is just a washing machine, but to him, he'll take that to the yard, and he's got the steel frame of the, of the actual machine, and he's got electric motors inside it, um, possibly an alley uh, rotator thing, and uh, the copper wires as well. So he'll take that to my yard, and smash and strip it, and then take out all of those different items, and then weigh them in an on ferris shed. He'll get a breakdown of the exact value of that washing machine then. You know. Yay! A nice lawnmower, which is going to be classed as Irony Alley, um, which is basically double the price of your normal light iron. Yeah, it's aluminium with steel on it. Yeah. Right. Nice and secure. Oh, oh that's how, he's, how he took that on. I thought you said you'd never had anything fall off the van before. Until I employed you. <laughs> when you get home, when you get home, give me a call and I'll come straight round. Okay. Yeah? Yeah, as long as you don't be doing it on the drive. No, I will clean up all the time yeah, after. Fine. Lovely, appreciate that, buddy. It's out there, yeah. So what we got there, Tess? There's your 70p a kilo. It turns you into a proper scavenger, man. You just, I'm not really excited now to go through skips. It's not bad for a few hours work though, is it really? Not really, no. Ain't gonna to speak too much because uh, he'll want more wages. <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely the best find of the day. Any old iron! I'm literally being run over. Stairs, stairs, it fuck. Ah! I can't get off. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
<laughs> is he hurting him? Oh. Oh, did he? Oh. 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 I actually started hurting. That's, actually That's quality. Oh. That chap there with the blue car called us over to tell us, tell us that he has a washing machine that he wants us to collect the holy grail of scrap. Look at it. Thank you very much. Oh, cheers, buddy. Oh, yeah, that's the right weight to it. Apparently, there's a technique to throw these technique. on the van. And your other hand. Where do I put my other hand? You just put that in there, but uh, let's see. Yeah, get it onto your knees. So, like, and then get throw it onto it your over. knees, yeah, yeah. straight on. Give it a look. <laughs> Wait, how do you do this? <laughs> how do you do that? Do you say no that? chance, mate. I'll do it this way. <laughs> you know what? You're going to have to do it, and then I'm going to have to just I'm have to learn. I'm very impressed. <laughs> <laughs> Run it off? No, no, not. <laughs> the, the second one we get, I'll do it. Oh my God, he's feeling the pressure now. Oh, he's it? run out of routine. Mate, he's absolutely fuming. He's not working. <laughs> Think the turbo's gone. Oh! We're off, we're off. Fuck, he's straight in the curb. He can't drive it. They are Will. <laughs> oh, limber up, mate, limber up. <laughs> Is it secure? Yeah, man. Is it safe? Yeah. And it's always runs. Oh. <laughs> it's your days, keep done. Yeah. And it's number. And it's seven. Number seven. I'll see you in five minutes. Okay, thank, thank you. you. It's definitely your people skills that make them pull some through. <laughs> there he is. Look at that. Sis, there we go. Look at that. Job well done. Pull out the, uh, the street cleaners. Oh, get out. We've done the main part of it now. The truck's nearly full. All we need is a little bit of toppers. Toppers? Toppers, man. You know, like you do a hot chocolate and you put the marshmallows on top. <laughs> and it looks beautiful. We just want the toppers now. So about 270, pushing 300. So 270 to 300 quid. We look for a big red door, two cats in the window, but we're going to start getting some metal out. All right, cat converters yeah. off the cars? No, cat kittens. Oh, I'm cats joking, I'm winding you up, I'm winding you up. That's a top for an half, isn't it? Some odd drive past. What is it? Is that Ali? Huh? Is that Ali? I don't know. I think it's plastic, isn't it? Oh. Oh, oh, it's all gone tits up. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's a scrap king for you. The scrap king's chair, man. On top of his, on top of his uh, emerald. On top of my iron throne? Yeah. Come on, man. Oh! Whoa, whoa, stop, Ted, stop, Ted, stop. What's stop. Up? Oh! Hey, you can't take that. Why not? It's metal. You can't. No. Fucking life of it. You can't oh. take that, bro. Climbing on to the next one. <laughs> Look at this. They're just piling it up for us. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. All gravy, baby. All gravy. <laughs> Look. Oh, Eladin's jar. <laughs> Give us some scrap, mate. Tez, when, when, when do you actually think enough's enough now? What? When the third strap's on. The third, we've got one strap on. Then another two. We're absolutely petrified of scratching all the walls. <laughs> Alright then. There's no legal height restriction in the UK. The rent? No. Fucking okay, hell. So we're gonna get some more straps. <laughs> so I was trying to throw it over. No, yeah? no, no, pass it me. I'll try and throw it over. No, it won't work. It right? really will, just, will. I promise. You'll make the job ten times harder. I won't. Oh. <laughs> so, what have we collected today? 
Oh, come on. You need to give her everything. Not everything, but just... So, some... uh, we've got washer. Basically, bits of everything. Bits yeah. of light iron, bits of shearing, bits of copper, bits of brass, bits of brasserie, bits of alley, bits of ironing, bits of stainless. So what do you think is on your truck now? Um, I'd say between the 350 to 4 mark now. You reckon? Yeah, I reckon, yeah. I reckon I'll pull on the scale about 4, 2, 4, 3. Should we put a tenner on it? Huh? Should we put a tenner on it? Can do, yeah. So what are you saying? I'm saying that I'm going to pull on the scales about 4, 2, 4, 3. I reckon... My truck's 2, 5 empty. I'll say 3, 8. 3, 8? Yeah. Oh, you might as well pay me now. I'm over the 4 mark, 100%. On the streets, collecting all the stuff that you guys are throwing out your houses. Um, if you're from Tamworth, Litchfield or the surrounding areas, give this number a call, which will be Tez's number, and uh, he will obviously collect all of your stuff for you and help you keep everything tidy. So right, now, now you're fully loaded, right, ready to go. What's your next step now? Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna drive this to the yard, get on the scales, weigh, me, weigh what's on there. I'll cop my tenner off you. No, he won't. <laughs> I'll cop my tenner off him. It saves all the deductions he's gonna give me. And uh, they will go into the, the stripping part, strip it all, take all my motors, my non-ferrous, or my precious, as I'll call it. Take it into the other den and then wait off, get, get my wages by the end of the day. That's it then, so look, I'm looking forward to tomorrow now to see what you've actually made. 100%, it's all important. Right. Thanks for your help today. No worries, I'll, I'll, I'll get my wages tomorrow off you. <laughs> <laughs> Sound says, see you later. On in. Time for the hard part. Morning, Harry. How are you? Not too bad. Uh, what were you saying? Good load? Yeah, it's a lot of stripping though. <laughs> That's good though. You're what getting you... your overalls on. What the floor? Uh, yeah, I will do, I will do. <laughs> what, uh, what, what, what was the bet now? Tell me what weight was it? 3.8 you had, I had 4.1. So what was what, what it? It's 400, so. No way, man. Hey, I oh, win that. When you're out the cab, I win 3.8. No, but you so, see with me in the cab. The usual then, so you're going to obviously you're go over there shipping, yeah. and explain to the lovely people how everything is stripped. This is your washing machine. There's two motors on a washer. The big one and the small one. You've got one there and then a smaller one there. So what you do... Second, always carry a magnet because any of your non ferris, no, your ferris will not stick to the magnet. So, like this, look. Oh no, that's aluminium, so the magnet doesn't stick. Whereas steel, magnet sticks. That's what we tap for. Big chunk of cast iron. So this is your normal dryer. Inside the dryer, same as a washer, there'll be a big motor. And the motors are a lot more light iron. The stuff that I'm chucking there, that's like 150 pound a ton, I think. Whereas these motors, about 750 a ton. So that's why you don't chuck it off there, because you're losing money. If you just came in and tipped what I just had on the truck, you'll probably get about 180 quid. Because we're stripping it and separating it into two different piles, it's £160, you'll get £300. That's, an, that's another tatter's dream. It's a lead wash rad. Most of the plumbers know, they know what these are worth, so they keep them for themselves. Tez! Tez! You ain't finished, have you? Ah, <laughs> funny you are. How are we getting on? You know what, that little bit of copper there is probably worth more and brass than like a whole washing machine, isn't it? Yeah. So the washing machine's probably about... 60 kilos at 140. So, so that's about 10 eight, kilos, about 14 quid. quid. Yeah, about 8 quid. 
And one kilo I bet of that's you a worth. kilo of that's four quid, isn't it? Yeah. Four or five quid. So you can see why, well, just by stripping everything down, that's how the money's then become so high, because they're still getting the weight of the whole washing machine, really, but they're taking off, like, what, one kilo, but they're doubling the price of everything. Nothing annoys me more than when the customers are smashing, like, the hell out of an item on the floor, because although the concrete's solid, eventually, eventually, over years of smashing the floor, the, the concrete erodes, then we have to start replacing it. What about all that uh, plastic tip? What about that? What? what about all that plastic there? <laughs> it's better when he was in there. <laughs> it's better when he was in there. I've had customers bring you washing machines before, full of bricks, full of sand, full of dirt, and you can see them, like three of them, dragging it off the van to try and push it out the way. But we've got cameras everywhere, so we look, we're watching them all the time. So this is the way I look at it. These batteries here, that pays for my fuel. So that's my fuel sources. Now I've got to sort my man's wages out. So I've got to make sure I've got enough enough berries here to cover his wages and then I'll start making my money. I think you've got enough money by the looks of it. Huh? I think you've got enough money by the looks of it. No, never too much money. Oh, Will! You can blend this. That's horrible, mate. So Tez will now have to put all of his non-ferrous back on the van and then weigh over. Because if he leaves any non-ferrous off and then collects it after he's uh, weighed off, we will pay twice for it. We'll pay the weight of the non-ferrous as light iron as well as the value of the metal it is itself. So all of the stuff has to go back on, weigh on the weigh bridge, and then when they go into the non-ferrous shed, they get the exact weight for all the items then segregated and split up. Can I do a kickflip? I could do a, a drum. Go on, I dare you. Can you? Oh! Ah. Balance on him. Ah! Yeah. Really hope my shin that did. That was. So, at the end, you'll have a truck like that, look. So, you'll have your batteries, motors, aluminium, alicast. Cable, which is heavy, good cable, can cut the plugs off. There's another bike there. I've ridden more bikes than you've had up there. Ah, fucking. Oh, he's off, he's off, he's off. He's off. So now he's just took my weight that I've chucked off in the light iron. So now I'm going to go into the den with my good stuff, my pressures. Full of games today, innit? Right, right. So everything that gets put on the scales is photographed, and then obviously it'll go, go to the officer. So we've got a record of what's coming into the yard. That's it, sorted. See you around there. Feed me. Feed me, Harry. Can she have a bacon sarnie tonight or not? So I have given you special film star, movie star rates today. Um, £375. Nice one. We can eat tonight. But got... I should deduct my wages out of that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright then, take it out. 372. You got a deal. <laughs> right then. Tess? Thank you very much. And that was an insight into the life of a tap man. And I've enjoyed it. Have you enjoyed it? I have, I have. Oh, definitely eye opening. So don't forget, if you're in the Litchfield Tamworth area, hit up the number and get at Terry for any sort of little collections you've got going on. He'll sort you out. Don't forget to like. No, so the... <laughs> Thanks for watching episode eight. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and give a thumbs up. Thank you. I don't know.
I don't know either. I need no, because I hear my daughter saying it all the time on her TikTok. Thumbs up there. Yeah.